9.4%, is that the number you were expecting? I think that's broadly in line with what we're expecting. I mean, most analysts thinking about Ghanaian inflation has been driven by, of course, the depreciation of the CD that we've seen this year. And so most people were expecting a number of about this level going forward. I think the real interesting question for us is not this number, and in fact not even the number after that, because I probably will expect another pickup in the, in the, in the uh, July number. But I think it's when we get into the August, September, October period, which it'll become much more interesting to understand the full impact of the, the CD depreciation on the inflation rate. Because if you look historically, Ghana has a very pronounced period in the August, September, October, where inflation actually can be negative for lots of months as the harvest hits the market. So at that point, it'll be interesting to see the trade-off between the imported effects of uh, weaker currency versus the domestic effects of the actual food harvest. So I, I think this number is in line with expectation. We should expect another number, another increase next month. But after that, I think it gets much more interesting. All right, we'll come back to the currency. Of course, CDB has been under pressure most of this year. But your thoughts on the impacts of politics? Because we are in an election year in Ghana. In December, we'll see those pres presidential elections come through. And I know in a place like Nigeria, that's usually a concern, spending ahead of the elections. To what extent do you think this will impact inflation in Ghana this year? Well, it's very difficult to say. I mean, historically in 2000 and 2008, you saw this CD weakness on the back of following the elections effectively as a result, as you say, of government spending. I think what's very interesting this year is that the CD depreciation has actually predated the election by such a long point. Now, the numbers we have on the fiscal deficit are actually that it's not that bad at the moment. So that ties in with this greater problem, I think, that most economists have, is actually we're not quite sure what's driving the CD depreciation. It, it may well be that we haven't quite seen the government spending numbers and government spending has already risen. But what, what's clear to us, I think, or what's clear to me is that it, it's come much earlier than most of, expect, most of us expected. Most of us expected the CD to be relatively stable this year and perhaps in the wake of the election and government spending coming home to haunt them to, to actually see weedy, uh, CD weakness in 2013. So, so there's a lot of conundrums out there that we're not quite sure about at the moment and perhaps are not fully uh, readable from the data at this stage of the, of the, uh, of the year. All right. Well, what, what's your forecast for the CD, maybe for the year end? Um, a, year, a month ago it was at 187 to the dollar. Now it's almost, it's, it's more or less touching two um, CDs to a dollar. Do you think 194, we 195, that? isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The magical so where two do you see mark. It going for the rest of the well, year? we held on so long where it wouldn't break parity. Yeah, no, I mean, it's a very difficult question. I mean, I think that we are nearing the bottom, and I would actually be surprised if it crosses two to the dollar by the end of the year, right? If you look at the cross, ref, uh, cross rates for the CD compared to other African currencies, it does actually look quite cheap at the moment. And given the scale of the depreciation we've seen this year, uh, it, does, it does seem difficult to believe it will actually cross to. But, you know, where we've come from, it, it, it's virtually impossible to say at this point because as I pointed out earlier I don't think we can fully explain why the CD has been this week but um, mm. my, my intuition is we're pretty near the bottom 195 and we should see it stabilize it around these levels in the coming months perhaps it might go down a little bit to 196 oh. but then come back um, towards the end of the year so that, that's my general inclination at this moment but of course if inflation was to get right. much Le worse in the final few months of the year then maybe it would cross too but I, I I generally am inclined to think that that's not going to be the case.